Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. First, I want to thank all my subscribers, all the lovely people leaving comments underneath my videos. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. So today I'm coming to you with the recipe for sweet buns with some delicious mascarpone blueberry filling and some crumble on top. So let's get started. So to get the thing started, I'm going to prove my yeast. And here I have dry active yeast, those that I've always used. And it's about 10 grams, so about three teaspoons. And I'm going to add a little bit of lukewarm milk to them. These are my yeasts and because it's milk they're not going to melt so easily in it so you need to work a little bit so there's no clumps okay so now I can move them aside and give them some time to proof so while my yeasts are proving I can show you the rest ingredients so here I have 500 grams of all-purpose flour and I've put it straight into my stand mixer bowl because I'm going to use stand mixer because it needs a little bit of kneading so to my flour I can add about 120 grams of caster sugar so it's about half a cup in with that can go my milk and I've had one cup of milk so 250 ml and I've used some to prove my yeast, so the rest of my milk can go in. And 60 grams of melted butter goes straight in. I'm also going to add one egg, but the egg is actually optional, so if you don't want to add egg, just don't add it, it will the, the buns will turn out nicely anyway. And now I can add my proven yeast. And let me just grab some lemon and we'll use lemon zest as the aroma. Now we can add zest of one lemon. Okay, my lemon zest is now in and we can move over the stand mixer and we are going to knead it with the dough hook on for about 10 to 15 minutes until the dough is perfectly smooth, nice and stretchy. Our ready dough. As you can see it really is quite sticky but it not sticks to the fingers too much. It's quite workable. So what we need to do now is just sprinkle some flour over our dough to make it easier to handle later on and now we can let it rise covered with some cling film or some clean towel in a warm place for about an hour or until it doubles its size. So my dough is beautifully risen now and it's perfect time for preparing my filling and in here I have 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. If you have cream cheese that's perfectly fine you could use it as well I'm using mascarpone because I've had it in my fridge. So to my mascarpone I'm going to add about 4 tablespoons, 1 fourth cup of sugar, about a tablespoon of custard powder, and half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or you could use vanilla extract if you want to. I'm going to 
mix it first until it's well combined. I can add my blueberries and I'm using wild blueberries. I picked them myself, I freeze them and I'm using them frozen straight from the freezer. freezer. And just mix them into the mascarpone. Now we can form our buns. And I am back with my resin dough. rolled out of it just to make it easier for me to make somewhat even buns. You could just tear pieces of the dough apart and wait them to make even buns but I'm not really going to be as precise. So here I have eight buns and I'm going to have nice big buns instead of small ones but you could easily make even twice as much buns from that amount of dough so onto my dough good amount of my filling be generous close that so nothing escapes roll it roll it make a nice bowl and place it into our prepared baking pan and I have here 26 centimeters pan buttered and floured and that's what we're going to do with the rest of my dough. And here are all the buns in a pan. As you can see, they are packed in quite tightly, but I want them to rise up rather than spread, so I don't mind them sticking together. But if you do, then please use bigger pan or just bake them on a baking sheet. They are going to taste delicious either way. And now I'm going to cover them and let them rise for another hour or so until they are visibly puffed up. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to prepare the crumble topping. So while my buns are rising again, I can prepare my crumble. And this is the crumble that I always use for my bakes. Very simple, just half a cup of flour and half a cup of granulated sugar so if you ever see me making crumble this will probably be the recipe that I'm going to use and to my flour and sugar I'm going to add some vanilla paste of course as always you could use vanilla extract 50 grams of really cold butter straight from the fridge and one egg yolk and now with my cutter I'm going to chop everything, cut everything until it creates beautiful crumbly texture So my crumble is now perfect, as you can see we have some smaller, some bigger clumps of dough, it doesn't hold together, when you hold it it will, but then it will just fall apart, so now it will go to the fridge while my buns are still rising. My balance has now risen nicely and all they need is a generous sprinkling of my crumble topping. My 
crumble is on and now my buns are going into cold oven that I am going to set for 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit and I will bake them for about half an hour or until they are beautifully golden on top. And here they are my beautiful risen buns, golden brown on top. They are still very hot straight from the oven so I am not going to tear them apart but as you can see they do look good so go ahead make them yourself and enjoy and I will see you in next video bye